Salutations, everyone. I'm Herr Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here in TWR, the Thousand Week Break, in which we're playing with the Fat Man, who last time, of course, went to White Castle to get a quality American meal. But right now, we're finishing up our Focus on Infantry Doctrines focus, and here we go. Let's begin starting another one. And this, as you can tell by the title, should be the last episode in the campaign, just so that we can wrap up all the focuses if possible. So we shall begin with Reform the Military High Command. The Oberkommando des Heeres is a high command of the Heer. It was founded in 1935 as part of the remilitarization of Germany from 1938 though. The OKW, or OKH, was formally subordinated to the OKW. Uh, during the war, the OKH had the responsibility of strategic planning of armies and army groups. While the general staff of the OKH managed operational matters, it is the OKH and its staff that is de facto the most important unit within our war planning. Today is primarily dominated by the Prussian elite Junker officer class, though most of them are competent and some may even be called brilliant, but it is in need of reform for both. Increased effectiveness and ensure loyalty to the new Führer, which it looks like it gives us quite a few good buffs. Very cool. So, as I said earlier, uh, our dude, the fat man, the fat controller, uh, he went to America, had a meal, talked with Patton a little bit, the president over there here, and uh, tried to have tensions thaw, even though Patton didn't really like our uh, borders. I mean, these are these are rifle borders. Sure, maybe we could give this little piece of territory to Muscovine, you know, to make things fair. And maybe give this to Caucasus or Oral. But you know what is what it is, my friends. We got this land fair and square, and the people here originally just weren't using it, you know? If people aren't using land, then if we just kind of walk in and claim it for ourselves, nothing really happens. You know, it's all, it's all fair and games, right? Nothing bad came as a result of it. Nothing bad whatsoever. Wow, look at how many things we still have reinforcing or repairing. Oh, they're cut off. Are they cut off? Hmm. Ah, uh, we don't own... Well, actually, no, we should own the Straits. We should own the Straits. Denmark is a puppet of ours, and we do own Norway completely. You know, there was a comment previously that I should liberate Norway. Um... I'm not really sure that's possible, possible to be honest with you. Occupation policies. Norway? Yeah, I don't really have an option to do that. Quite unfortunate, I know, but like I say, it is what it is. Uh, let's go ahead and get that division training so we can make a bigger army just in case things go poorly. But right now we're also increasing our GDP and our district capacity. And now we're only 25 away or so to catch up to be equal on par with the United States. Of America. We have some improved shells. Let's go ahead and replace them with Day of the Memorial. Uh, maybe not replace it with that, but you know, we'll talk about it. The 15 centimeter Waffenthrager auf E. Fumsisch. Cool. Looks great. And it really looks like we are done with all the events between us and the United States, which is really disappointing. I was hoping that, there, like I said at the end of the last episode, that there'd be more between us, but I guess maybe not. Which is quite disappointing, but with the Panzer Army. The Panzer Truppen have been glorified as modern knights of Germany. In their dashing black uniforms and their fearsome Panzers, they strike fear into the hearts of all the enemies of the Reich. They are some of the best trained and well-equipped troops in the, soldier in the world. They defeated the most modern armies of Europe in a few weeks in 1940. They pierced through the heart of the Red Ark Colossus in the re next summer. Today, what they have in quality is, they, is that the, what they lack in quantity. More Panzer divisions need to be created, more tanks need to be produced, and more Panzer troop and shoes need to be set up to create a massive Panzer army that will carry the war straight to the enemy's capital. More attack and defense, plus 10% for both, which is really good. <clears throat> now, I don't understand why we still have SS infighting, because we gave each group Bergen under Himmler, and then Gottenland under Heydrich, there really shouldn't be any more infighting since we both gave them stuff. There might be there might be an update. Actually, I know at the time of this recording, there is an update already out. I have my Steam account set into offline mode. So maybe this is a little bug that's been fixed up already. I don't know. So uh, Recruitment system. Mm, <laughs> look at that recovery rate. All right, aerial refueling looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and just keep moving on with transport planes. And we got some carrier planes. Very nice. Uh, what are we going to get next? It's 60, almost 64. So nothing there. Air doctrine is done. Heavy aircraft are pretty much done. This is pretty much done as well. That's done. All these ship stuff. Almost done. Let's get some advanced landing craft. That'd be quite good for us. <coughs> Stability 100%. War support is looking pretty good as well. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Working on a fifth. Fifth slot. That, my friends, is German ingenuity and industrial might I would have to say so myself. Ah, uh, less than 12. Are, are they... 
I think their number went down. I thought it was 327 before. China's rapidly catching up, as well as France. France is doing pretty well. Britain, the United Kingdom, is doing incredibly poorly. They're even behind the Russians, which owns all of Russian Asia, or just basically Asia. They're no longer in Europe at all. Wow. They're only trailed behind Italy. Wow, that is a little nice to see. China announces ambitions. The Chinese dragon awakens from its slumber. National Honor Reclamation Directive. Oh, okay. Maybe we'll see a little action from China then. Let's hope so. Labor laws? We don't believe in labor laws here, do we? Oh, we kind of do. Engine upgrades too? Great. Alrighty, tidy. The praise of Panzer Grenadiers. Largely army theater theoreticians are divided between the Panzers and the infantry, but a long overlooked and neglected role and the contribution is that of the Panzer, Grena Panzer Grenadiers. In the initial stages of the war, their role was limited by as the war progressed in the east, the Panzer Grenadiers proved their mental, pr braving the harsh winter and the Russian Ras Rasputitsa. They ferried troops and supplies constantly to the front lines where they were much needed to prevent any possible breakthrough by the Reds and or prevent the Panzer Spirits from being cut off while providing sufficient armor production. Even then, today, the Panzer Grenadiers are very important, but their role has been largely underappreciated. It's time that these warriors on their steel chariots are recognized for the contributions of, to the Reich and its triumph over its enemies. A 55% research bonus for anti-tank material. A good thing, I would say. Quite a good thing. Go and do that as well. That'd be fine. Beautiful. Two, 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 and then... Even though we can make more civilian factories, we don't always get them because, well, it gets eaten up by these god darn consumer goods. Uh, I'll see now it's back up to 28. Okay, that's interesting. China's rapidly industrializing. There are 200? This is giving me a little bit of concern, not gonna lie. They are... They're going to town. Labor laws, huh? Uh, let's see. Strengthen the three principles. That looks like it helps them quite a bit. Chen, Dang, Chang's reform. New curriculum. How much... How many factories do they have? Oh, they're behind us. They've got plenty of manpower. Of course, it's China. What do you expect? The Nanjing Pact. China expands its influence. Oh, boy. They're in a Nigerian economy, though. Oh. Okay. It's a Democratic Indian Pact. We have the Asian Proletariat Front. Um, Is anyone in the Nanjing Pact besides China and Tibet? They're puppets? It looks like they're them by themselves. Of course, we have the Toronto Accords and the Mediterranean Pact, but... uh, Okay. Whatever. Oh, I guess... Kuwait is in the thing? Oh, it's part of the UK, probably. Anything here? Not really. We're running out of things to research. We're done with our land doctrine. Down here, uh, improved accuracy could be something we could do. Let's just do infantry fighting vehicles. Even though we are technically still using them, they're something I want to get rid of eventually. It really doesn't matter too much. Early auto loaders, very cool. Very nice. Only 2% more soft attack, more hard attack. That's okay with me, you know. It is what it is. We do whatever we can. Good, good, good. Hey, four. There we go. Nice. Very good, very good, very good. Keep building, keep building. We're going to keep two on at all times. Do we have any more ships, maybe, perhaps? Yeah, we do. We have another light cruiser. Very good. And if you need to train, go right ahead. Just don't get injured too much, because it's going to take maybe even a decade to get everything done. But it looks like we're done there. Good. Praise the patents of Grenadiers. And we shall have some shadow divisions. During Fall Galvin in May 1940, our patents and divisions broke through the Ardennes and advanced at such a rapid pace that the Allied forces were conf confounded by their sudden appearance, simultaneously worrying the OKH about their location, thus they acted like shadow divisions. Today, more or less, the tactics they employ are the same from the past decade, as they were the tip of the spear that pierced the heart of the Red Russians, and they, along with their feet, have grown old and need to sharpen the tip of the spear. The OKW has instructed the Panzer Troop and Schules to learn from our failings during our Eastern Campaign and inculcate, inculcate, inculcate new tactics and doctrines to the Panzer Troops in order to improve the combat efficiency of the Panzerwaffe. Less division training time, less organization, but more recruitable population factor. Could be worse. Could be much worse. All oh, right. Next up, we shall choose. I'm letting time go on because it doesn't really matter at this point anymore. 1962 cycle, a cyclic rate reducer. Nice. More soft attack, more defense. Sign me up. Engine upgrade twos. Very nice. Let's come over here and we'll grab some HK 21s. Heckler and Koch Einen Zwanzig. Very, very good. All right. How are we looking here? We need to get at least two runs of civilian factories going on at all times. Build it up in Saxony. That'd be very good. One, two. So many civilian factories. That's so nice. So we got one, two, three, four, and we're improving this one as well. Nice. Let's see if we can get... Nope. Oh, we did get one. another one. Nice. Very good. Very good. All right, China, if you're... Yep, they're slowly improving. We are 316. We are about 12 away from being equal to the Americans, in which they will then have to admit or admit hegemony, or we will admit hegemony over them, in terms of economic output and strength. There should be an election this year. Maybe? I'm not going to lie. That's a lot of manpower for America and... 64, that's a, that's a lot. 
That's quite a bit. Uh, they, we actually have a bigger army than they do, probably. Navy. Oh my gosh, their navy's not bad. Not bad. Tons of carriers. A few battleships. I was looking at the battleships first. That's a pretty good amount of carriers. They have more than us, obviously. Uh, advanced landing craft. Not bad. Come back over here. And let's do some uh, anti-tank. Six. Yes, please. Yes, very good. Very good. Uh, why don't we have this anymore? Oh, the summit is still in progress. Okay, so with it says the summit's still in progress. That means... Huh. Mayday. So quick. Break. Fire. Cool. Does that mean it's glitched? It might be glitched then. It's about to near three. You'll be fine. I guess the summit must be glitched because nothing has happened yet. Oh, that is disappointing. That is so disappointing. Let's get some post war suspensions. Shadow divisions. Some uh, better infantry fighting vehicles. Shadow divisions. And then... Warfare Command Office. With the past experiences in the war, the current systems of Opa Commandos have been quite cumbersome. The main issue being the coordination between OKH and OKW, and the OKH directing the Heer, but interference by the Fear himself led to OKW repeatedly trying to rain on the Heer. An, an uneasy and informal compromise was set up where the OKH directed the operations in the East, and the OKW being responsible for the duties in the West. Recent situations at home have also uh, exposed the issue of them again being unready to coordinate together to direct military operations. The Fear has created a Warfare Command Office as its private response representative from the Army that will be attached to the OKW to ensure a coordination and a degree of autonomy for the Heer's operational capability, while also ensuring that the Fear is kept in the loop regarding all operational planning. Less our political, less PP gain, more division organization, and more max planning. Not bad. But not great. You yeah, know, it's okay. So, I, yeah, like I was saying, th there must be a glitch or something where it's not, it's not in progress, or maybe I have to, we have to wait for the Americans? I really don't know. I, hmm, I, hmm, I really don't understand. Like, we did everything that we could... Uh, is there anything here for the UN? I know it's a UN mechanic. Is there any resolutions? No. I mean, we're not part of it. I mean, maybe we're part of the UN. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't see our flag down here. Uh, so it is what it is. Oh my gosh. Is that seriously the Canadian flag? What? Oh, no, no, no. Let's grab some better motorized, but, uh... Uh... When did that flag... Be was, that like was that flag like that the entire time? Legacy of the Sea Force, huh? Army Rangers... Why is the flag like that? Uh, host of the, oh, they're the host of the Toronto Accord, okay. Canadian Economic Growth, UN Council, Anti-Submarine Warfare, Citizenship Act Expanded. That flag, oh, it pains me when I see it. Well, not chemical weapons ban treaty. Yeah, it must be a glitch. It's gotta be a glitch. Another bug in the game, that really sucks. Uh, but China, I like that they still focus this. I might choose to play as China next. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, or unless I might have already started a campaign. I don't really know. Change, change reforms. Okay, so maybe the, now they're done with their focus tree. But look at that manpower. Since we're not at war, we've been getting a little bit more manpower every month. It's very nice. I think it's falling away. Control the KMT. Internal president. I really wish we could go to war. They really are too peaceful. It was too, pe too peaceful in 64. But combat ready. The here under the guidance of the Fuhrer has been reformed both institutionally and physically. It's been expanded and improved from the Alb... Alb al Tulung level to the entire Oba Commando level. And there's some rough patches that still have been formed due to the reshuffling. Immediately, exercises will be started at the core level to enable familiarity with the new support units and the reformed chain of command. Eventually, to show the West and the Reich that the Reich, the, the Reich stands strong, we command two massive exercises, both in the West and East, to demonstrate that this army as a guardian of Europa is invincible. This can possibly convince the West to stop their hostile attitudes and start bilateral talks to improve relations to ensure that they will never find themselves having to fight the Reich. Let's hope so. Let's really hope so. Uh, maybe we'll get options here once uh, uh, we do our little thing with, once we finish all our other focuses, electric ign ignition servers, great, yeah, servos, yes, yes please, maybe, but like as we saw earlier in this campaign, where I was glitched, kind of forced to do either Borman or Goring, it's probably another bug that hasn't been resolved, which is quite unfortunate, but it is what it is, you know, I mean, there's not much we can do about it, except enjoy the time that we have together. Uh, let's see, tank-wise, we got plenty of army XP. These guys obviously have plenty of experience. They want upgrades. Uh, but do they deserve upgrades? That's another question to be asked. Anything up here? Anything up here? Eh, some guys should really get upgrades, but wait, no, whatever. Uh, that being said, all you guys, infantry, I'm going to let time go on, just so we need to speed up through all these focuses. Just convert everyone. Just convert everyone. That's fine. Uh, that's a little bit ahead of time. Let's grab some better ma ma Marines. Marines are always good to have, right? I just really want to get to the focus tree and see what happens. Uh, I mean, some people complain that there's not enough things to do until, like, late game. And I understand that. 
But I think what might improve the tree here, and just trees in general, is that you want to have the focus available, maybe? Or maybe it's locked behind some sort of prerequisite. Something has to happen to unlock other focuses. So that this way, we're not... I mean, or we have the option of, like, seeing the tree and seeing what can unlock focuses, but have it, like, blocked off until another nation does something, or it's a certain year, and then force the AI or force the human player to go down another route. Like, I focus really hard on doing this as part of the tree with Goring's Reich, and then I focus really hard on economic policies. Maybe have some of these locked behind other mechanics, uh, so that way we're forced to go down another branch of the tree. So this way we're still a little bit more engaged about what's going on and informing the country. I think that might be a really cool thing if... Maybe not just these devs, but other devs in general. Oh, that's a great focus. Look at that description. But uh, I think that would be a really cool thing if... The focus tree planners thought about that. Like, okay, we want to get to like, the left side of the tree. Maybe have five focuses they can choose from. But then the ones after that, here or there, maybe there's like prerequisites. Like, the United States has to do something. Or we have a certain number of things you have to do to accomplish a certain task in order to unlock the next focus. It's to make it a little bit more story-like, so we can go down other trees. I mean, maybe, maybe not. That's just my suggestion. Because uh, I know that some people have complained that, you know, oh, why did these things take so long to research? Why did these things, these focuses, uh, are like 56 days instead of like 70 days or 35 days or whatever? Just, I don't know, maybe something like that. To keep the story still going on while focusing on other things, because, you know, we could always focus on the internal sphere, like what we did with Goring and the economic, but maybe focus on the internal sphere a little bit, have some locked until you do more of the army stuff, because, you know, the army can be super, can be super interlocked with the internal sector of politics, can be interlocked with uh, the economy as well. So I'm thinking if, you know, if devs are watching of, you know, for TWR, I love the mod, or any other mod, Maybe consider that, maybe. You don't have to do that. I mean, that's just a recommendation. Um, just because I, I... I'm often on Discord Discord servers, some Discord servers, and Reddit servers. And I, I don't have an account on Reddit. But I do watch and read what other people post. And do get an idea of what people are saying and thinking. So, that's just kind of what I've observed. That, you know... Ways to keep the game a little bit more... I wouldn't say balanced, but... A little bit more diverse, maybe. Maybe saying that. Maybe even diverse isn't the right word. But, uh... I'm not really sure what a good word would be for that. But let's do some special forces. Like, keeping the game more... Story-driven, I guess. But then again, TWR is not super... Not as story-driven or narrative-driven as TNO. I know this is kind of a weird, long tangent I've gone on. Uh, regarding this mod and just in the campaign right now. Just because I want to finish off a lot of these uh, focuses. Uh, but... Those are just some of my thoughts. You know, you can agree with me in the comments below. You don't have to agree with me. But let's do air power as the future. Anyone studying history and concluding that the Panzers were responsible for Germany's victories are clearly mistaken. It was the Luftwaffe that fiercely bombed Poland, and then the Benelux, and then France. And when the Panzer group of Kleist uh, forced crossings near Sedan, the Luftwaffe concentrated most of their air power to smash a clean hole in the narrow sector of the French lines by carpet bombing and dive bombing. The Luftwaffe executed the heaviest air bombardment the world had yet witnessed. After that, it participated in the annihilation of the British expeditionary forces that secured our victory in the West. At Dunkirk, about a year later, while the world was still reeling with the after effects of what happened in the West, the Wehrmacht launched an invasion where the Luftwaffe decimated entire Bolshevik formations and the entire massive Red Air Force in a matter of weeks that allowed the Panzers to move unhindered straight onto Moscow. All these achievements have not shown to, uh, or proven or proved, but stated that air power wins wars. Right now, we can claim or still. Uh, stop any invasion fleet that the Toronto Accord sends to the shores of Europa or bomb any partisan holdout in the east to the ashes. If the Reich needs to keep this place as a superpower, not only can the loot Luftwaffe guarantee it. Yes. And that's why we have the fat man in control. Him and his Luftwaffe achieved victory for all of Germania. Or so the story goes, according to Mr. Fat Man here, so. Go figure. These guys, we definitely have to edit these division templates. How much, how many, oh, it's almost 15,000 things of APCs. Beautiful! Uh, Panzer Grenadier Divisions, yeah, those are, those are cool, sorry, don't need you right now. Motorize, 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 APCs all the way. Actually, we should probably just make you 40 combat with to begin with, but whatever. And we're gonna get, grab you, or get you this, good. Let time go on, it really doesn't matter at this point. Uh, better Marines, because why not? Marines are nice to have. Mountaineers, we could probably throw on a few more Mountaineers, 20 combat with, it's not even 20 combat with, it's 12 combat with. Not ideal, my friends. Not quite ideal when we're out of army XP. Big sadness. Big sadness right there. There you go. Oh, did Hans Speidel? Please don't take over Germania if you have the option to. Thank you very much. 
Munchdine, he's really good at attacker. He's really good. We have a... Probably, honestly, we probably now have too much emphasis on motorized and infantry, or just vehicles, not infantry, but just vehicle stuff. Uh, yeah. Just because there's only so much fuel in the world that we have access to, so, hmm. Look at some radar here, dude. That's kind of nice. Uh, oh, man, we've been building up a lot of Germany proper, which is a great thing. We might probably need to build up Burgundy. As well, keep him nice and happy for now. We'll see what happens, you know, in the future. Go and build up a lot of this stuff over here, too. That'd be good. Begin building up a lot of our puppets as well. We need good uh, infrastructure everywhere. No, thank you. Air power is the future. So, let's see. We can go over here, go over here. Let's go with the final frontier. The right conquered the west and the east, and after the recent extreme events and some efforts by the fear to warm our relations with the Toronto Accords, there's no place but to go but the skies for the betterment and prosperity of the Reich. No place is too high. The Reich's Ministry of Aviation, in, in talks with the Reich's Ministry of Public... In Enlightenment and Propaganda has launched a new cultural revolution to celebrate the achievements of the Red Baron, Reichthofen's exploits in the First World War, Van von Braun's rockets, Booby Hartmann, and Adler de Ostfront, Rudolf's victories in the East, and even with their own Führer and his creation of the Luftwaffe being the legacy, culmination, and embodiment of the spirit of all of them. Very good. Um, so I'll let you know right now, if we don't get through everything within like 20 minutes, which we probably won't, I would start doing just the focuses, like using console commands, just so we can get through them and see if anything happens once we completely complete the current tree, which I think is the final tree for us anyways. Especially regarding the ongoing summit between us and the United States of America, because I like to finish it. You know, we started it, we had dinner or lunch at White Castle, oh, hello, troubling times, oh, this is not good. Wait, hold on, oh, so you're Burma, and they went socialist, you guys are Chin Chang. Um, we don't really like either one, but since you guys are probably weaker, oh my gosh, only, f oh, that is so not good. Send an attache, maybe. Okay, send an attache, then. Okay, never mind, we can't do anything about this. Oh, the Chinese aggression is going nuts. Please go to war with Vietnam, go to war with Vietnam, go to war with Laos, go to war with India, yes. What happened in 1965, my friends? It's a new year. Not necessarily new us, but... It's still a new year. Uh, let's keep going. Overseas evidence is gone. It is what it is. And let's take a look at GDP. Have we surpassed the United States yet? I really doubt it. Oh, we're dangerously close. Four more. All we need is four more points. And we will have it. Oh, that's so sad, Burma. So sad. Please, China, go to war with India. Please go to war with Southeast Asia. Go to war with Japan. How's Japan doing? <clears throat> Oh, look, whoa, look at Tokyo. Oh, or north of Tokyo. They're demilitarized. What's going on over there? Social Democrats. Oh, head of state. Oh, monarch. Oh, okay, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Improving relations with Israel, huh? Electric ignitions, cool. Oh, let's get some electric ignition sensors. The final frontier, of course. Let's grab some silicious cord armor. Very nice. And Union Burma has gone very quickly. So improvements for the Luftwaffe. Oh, we didn't have to go that way. Focus on the hardware. Many of our current aircraft are modern but have reached their developmental maturity, hindering future upgrades. For example, the mainstay of the fighter arm, ME-262 Schwalbe, uh, was introduced nearly a decade ago when it was a revolutionary leap. Despite the vast of the West developing aircraft of similar performance, it has maintained its edge due to regular upgrades, but has, among many others, reached the end of its, end of its development cycle. We cannot possibly overwhelm our enemies with number and skills alone. We need to be able to field technologi technologically sophisticated equipment that can easily overwhelm the Western's ability to counter them. The OKL has drafted the specifications and designs of new aircraft for development and production that will give the Luftwaffe the necessary technological edge. Very good. I'm actually glad that China can still keep pumping out things to do. Even though they're, they're doing air production right now. I uh, like that they went to... Oh. Huh. Okay, so I did not realize that... Hmm. Uh, let's just get better forces. That's fine. Pakistan. Okay. Very interesting. Ah, they released Burma. Tibet, of course, is here. Uh, I just realized that that flag is... Oh. You saw... You saw nothing. And Pakistan, with his nice little funny hat. Huh. The Liberty Ethos, huh? The conservative in Pakistan. <clears throat> that is... Oh, man. I feel kind of bad for India now. They're all... They're completely surrounded, including the ocean. That is interesting. Heroes Day, very cool, very cool, but... Hmm. I don't know, man. That does not seem very good for anyone down there. State... State of Bolivia. Not Bolivia. The State of Bolivia. Colombia... Federal Republic of Venezuela. 
Nah, guys, I think we're good on divisions for now. Chemical research would be nice, but we don't really need to do that. Building up some radar. It's always good to figure out what your enemies are doing around you. Uh, cool. Let's go ahead and grab... It is 65. Some better gun stuff. Which means... Not spot welds, but spring washers. More soft attack, soft attack and breakthrough. What more could you love from that? Wow. We need a lot of main battle tanks. So we can probably eliminate this finally. Hopefully. Thank you. Motorized is fine. APCs. Main battle tanks, you gotta go up. And we're gonna need some more stuff. Focus on hardware? How about we do that? And let's go and do some massive funding. The recent tense situations at home have star starved the aircraft industry of resources and materials. The FIRA has authorized a massive injection of capital into the air industry, with some even believing it to be too much. But our FIRA has never been known to be a miser, especially considering its precious Luftwaffe. This massive injection has allowed the Reich's Ministry of Aviation to begin several new public undertakings to reignite the air production and aid the bigger companies like Messerschmitt, Dolnia, etc. into expanding and getting back on track to design new aircraft and wrap up their production lines for an increased output. Oh, we lose consumer goods factories. That is not ideal, my friend. Why would you choose that? Why would we do that? Why do you hurt me so? One, two, three, four-ish. Oh, what are you guys doing? Go ahead and go home, man. Oh, just, just go home. You have four carriers. That's really good. Uh, let's grab heat integration. Very nice. And we're going to figure out what else we can do here. Ah, oh, here we go. Silicus cord armor. Nice. Uh, yeah. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, more ships. Heavy cruisers. Uh, start making a new branch here. That'd be fine. Very good, my friends. Mayday. Very, very good. Hmm. Hmm. Overseas testimony. Good. Paratrooper 3s. Sure. Why not? 62, 64. Support companies. We could probably get this. Paratrooper 3s. Even more soft attack. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. How much does that actually give us? These guys are 40 combat with. Uh... 22.5? Not bad. 22.5. 22.5. Not bad at all. Uh, we're getting, we can't, we're barely getting any army XP, which really sucks. I really want to see what China does, but at the same time, I don't... Okay. I thought they were done. I thought they were doing, they're doing air production. Hold on. Did they... Did they just unlock another new tree? They must have just unlocked another tr new tree. Holy crap. How many focuses does China have? That's awesome. Yeah, China might be the way to go. Hmm. Issue treasury bonds a stable currency. Harsh. Oh, they have harsh inflation. Stop printing. Hold on. A spring washer. Very cool. 66. Massive funding. That's always nice to have. Well, it can be. 65. We're going to go down. Uh, we're going to go with this one. Very good. And we shall do... Luftwaffe Divisions. The main ground fighting force component of the Luftwaffe are the elite divisions named in honor of the Führer that largely went under the command of the Heer. Today, the SS cannot be trusted, and the Führer believes that there is a need for a large amount of combat troops completely low to the state owned already. The members of the Luftwaffe are the ardent supporters of the Führer and very ideologically reliable. Reliable. To appease and remove some of the uneasiness that the Führer feels that he has ordered the OKL to raise several Luftwaffe divisions and has authorized OKL, or W, to take the necessary men and material from the Heer to make sure that those new Luftwaffe field divisions are more than cap combat capable. Three Luftwaffe units appear in Germania. Oh, that's cool. Uh, you sure? I don't know. Maybe you should have lowered like war support by like one percent or something. Maybe in exchange for that. I mean, it's not bad, but still. Hmm. America, please, 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 America. Finish the thing up with me. I want to. I want to say hello. St okay. So where's this inflation? Oh, look at that harsh inflation. Oh, that does not look good. But that could be a lot worse actually. It's only ten percent consumer goods, and we were hit with that same thing. One, two, three, four. When we barely have five. That's kind of okay with me. Overseas evidence, that's fine. I kind of want to... Okay. I kind of want to keep going. Just to see what happens with China. Because China has become very, very interesting. Incredibly interesting. Uh, cool. I'm going to let time go on first, though. Just because we can. Artillery-wise. Just going to grab this one. Improved accuracy. Very nice. And then we'll go with... What else? It's only 65... Anything else here? Oh, we can get this one. Improved depth charge mortars. Very cool. Advanced special forces training. Let's go ahead and grab this one as well. Extreme environmental training. Very nice. Very, very good. The Vafa divisions will be done soon. Uh, naval contracts. I wish there was more we could do with the Navy, but then we haven't really gotten into, into too many wars. Which I think is... I wish I could get in more wars. I don't know. This is still my first campaign in TWR, so I'm not expecting like a... Huge amount, but it is Germany. It is Germany, and I know this mod will get better and better as time goes on, so. 
Can't complain too much. Hmm. Cool. We'll probably do the Sky Fleet next. Cool. Oops. Uh, well, you know what? Let's let time go on. And we'll read it anyways. The Sky Fleet, my friends. Oh, uh, let's see. So, imagine this blue sky dotted completely by gray plains. That is what the Fuhrer wants to see in the next celebrations of our victory over our adversaries. He has given the permission and ordered the OKL massively expand the Luftwaffe and be the owners of a colossal fleet of aircraft, bigger in size than any air force that the West can scrape to muster. Uh, the Luftwaffe's planes are the eagles that gaze over the Reich's lands in a protective manner, who will tear anything and everything into shreds to stands to harm the Reich's interests. The Luftwaffe will spread its wings to protect Europa. And yeah, we're two weeks in already. Nice. Very nice. Flamethrowers. Oh, these guys actually don't look too bad. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. There we go. You guys can do that. Switch switch around. Let time go on. It doesn't matter about research too much anymore. Oh, I've got some planes. Actually, scout helicopter planes. Not bad. Oh, that says, I think, two recon? It's not bad. Maybe we should use those sometime. But then again, it's... By the time we get to the... This is, like, late game for us. There's really not a huge reason for us to use them. But, you know, we'll see. It says we're here. You might as well improve that area. You might as well improve that area. Uh, Norway, I guess, as well, since we couldn't really do much with them. I guess Denmark as well. You know, it is what it is. Hold on, we have 370 factories. Have we overtaken the United States of America in terms of GDP? My friends, we have. We have blown past them, and they are now slowly catching up, but not really. Increased accuracy, very cool. Uh, come back down here. Let's let time go on. Who cares? Transport helicopter. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Very nice. I like that. Light aircraft, 65. Yep, advanced drop tanks for even more range. 25%. That is nice. That is some good stuff right there, my friends. Very, very nice. Go, China, go. Do something. Do something. Come on. Go, 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 go. Do something. Rebuilding the trust? Hmm, interesting. Alright, after the Sky Fleet, we should probably do the Fall Sharmi and Hobbs Schrauer. So, uh, the Wehrmacht extensively used Luftwaffe's Fall Schirmjägers in securing its victories, and thus was unprecedented and highly effective. Only 85 of them were able to neutralize the world's strongest and impregnable fort, Eben Emal, and they also paved the way for the conquest of the entire country of Norway. But during the near disastrous landings in the Greek island of Crete, despite their success, their vulnerabilities were exposed, especially immediately after they landed and are highly disorganized and scattered. But the recent development in rotor aircraft meant that we can effectively land entire squads complete with mortars, anti tank weapons, and machine guns. The OKL has started developing an incalculable inculcating special tactics among the fall Schirmjägers to make use of and explore the limitless potential offered by vertical troop deployments, from raids on enemy HQs to capture enemy COs to harass and potentially cut off enemy supply lines. And that's a good thing. That's a really, really good thing. And we have a whole five army XP, my friends. A uh, whopping five. That's fine if you put them there for now. Uh, never mind. I lied. There you go. Actually, are you guys... You're only 20 combo with. I like to make you 40, but... I think I said that in the last episode. We can't quite get there. That's okay, though. Put some artillery on these guys. There you go. Nice. Come on, China, to do something. Go to war. Go to war, China. What I keep clicking on that stuff? Because we can. God, that seems so interesting what China's up to. Issue treasury bonds. Alright, so President Chen always falls. The Vietnam War? Okay. Okay, I mean, we're almost done with our stuff here. Generalissimo Cheng. Cheong. Cheong. President Chen, of course, we saw it earlier. President Li. Eastern Seas. The Fourth Republic. End of the Purge. Martyrs of the Republic. Requires contact the CCP. Oh. Our Righteous Crusade. Wow. Chinese economy, of course. But wow. Memorial Day. Okay, so, I mean, I guess at this point, I, I was trying to say this earlier, but I think we're just going to complete every focus. If you want to read the descriptions, we can't. There's really not much else going on. It's 1965, and I'll probably have to use, I'm going to use console commands to finish off all the focuses just to see if there's anything post this. And I really want to force through any sort of event between us and America at this point. Um, just, it feels like the campaign's kind of dragging on just a little bit too much in my mind. So let's finish off. Uh, just looking at all the focuses, if we possibly can, for the Goring Tree, because it's going to be quite a while before I come back and play as Goring. Um, just because there's other things to do. Other uh, other nations in this mod I would like to play. 
and attend to. Uh, let's finish off. I know it means nothing to for us to do this at all, but eh. Go ahead and do that. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and look at all these other focuses, just because this is the last episode. Focus autocomplete. And let's go see special trainings that would give us marine technology, airborne technology, mountaineers. If you'd like to read the focus, go right ahead. Formations. Cool. So we got that complete. Um, field Marshal Goring. I mean, we, he gets, we get him as a Field Marshal. It is what it is. So um, That's fine. For the Old Guards. Old Prussian Junker Elite Officer Class. We get less Army XP gain. But more stability. Okay. Sure, whatever. And uh, Germanic Military Traditions, which helps us remove some of that depth, that debuff from Army Experience gain. Cool. And let's finish off uh, some of this stuff. All-Purpose Submarines. Uh, go ahead and like to read that. We just get a bonus of submodels. And the Marine Shula, that's cool. Constructor Carrier, which we get one new Goring class aircraft carrier to, to the production queue. That's very nice. Uh, piloting skills. Air wing training experience gain plus 10%. That's pretty good. That's very nice. You also get Luftwaffe skills. A bonus for air doctrine. That's cool. And here's the rest of the description if you would like to read about that. Uh, first Lost Lara allows Kamikaze strikes. Okay, that is interesting. That is interesting against suicide attacks. Encourage our aces, huh? Ace generation chance plus 15%. That's not bad. Encourage our aces. Not bad, not bad. And I know some people probably won't like it that I'm doing this, you know, using basically cheats to look at all the next boxes. But I, I really want to explore this tree before we call it a campaign, so. Cool. More agility for flying knights. That looks really cool. Top of the world, my friends. Top of the world. We get more war support. That's always nice. Okay, which we could actually use, even though we have lost world war support just because it probably world tension went down a little bit. A uh, pilot's think tank, more our air XP, very cool, very cool, uh, very cool, very cool. And there's more of the focus there if you like to read that. And the guide for air warfare, a double bonus for air doctrine. But by this time, we probably have most things done. I don't know, maybe there could be more things done to artillery to make it a little more interesting. Maybe balance it out a little bit more. Maybe split up. I'm thinking maybe split up artillery. Because there's, like, one extra thing underneath, like, 1950s artillery, I think, or something like that. Maybe split it up to, so it's, like, you get, you can have, like, research three things about it, but it gives you, like, 2 to 3% more soft attack, or even hard attack, if you research them. Maybe that's an option. I don't know, we'll see what happens. I'm really interested in seeing how this mod develops over time. I'm going to continue playing this mod, don't get me wrong. Especially China, because I'm really impressed by China. I'm really, really impressed. Uh, this is really nice for more research speed. That's good. Best of the best, cool. Luftwaffe Special Divisions. Oh, more research speed. Oh, but, but more reliability. That's not bad. More production cost. It is what it is. Cool. And then ahead of the curve. Oh, we get air mission efficiency plus 5%. And that helps all those guys out. Not bad. And then from ground to air. We get 100 more army XP. Or air XP, I should say. More air XP. Very cool. From ground to air. 56 days. Yeah, nice. So that's it for the, the trees on the right. The, the army tree... And then we have Fun the Bomb, and the new Cold War that Germany finds itself in. That's very nice. And 300% research bonus for nuclear technology. Not bad. And let's do Confidence Government, so the people in our government need to know that what is said in their workplace should stay in the workplace. To drive the point home, anyone who's found to have compromised state secrets will have an even harsher sentence than in the past, in which we get stability. Alright, so now we have to do this, because we wanted to go Diplomatic Ties. Let's go Focus... Dot, oh, no, no, no. Is it No Checks... Uh, Focus. Diplomatic checks. There we go. Just so we can do either one. So let's do diplomatic ties. We've yet to establish any significant ties across the Atlantic. This has led to many failures to communicate at the worst possible times, and this is unacceptable. To avoid a worldwide calamity, we will reach out and expand our existing diplomatic sources. I want to say the reason why this uh, didn't go so well for us is because we already took out the Soviet Union. That might be the reason why it didn't work out so well for us. But peace in our time. No description. World tension goes down. Get more stability. Lose some war support, which I actually don't like a lot. But, let's see. Let's let time go on. Those are the focuses for the Goldring tree, or the Greater German Reich tree. I believe that's pretty much going to be probably the campaign. I don't see too much going on here. Um, there must have been a bug between us and the Americans regarding uh, uh, the summit or something. I'm not really sure what happened. Uh, but, you know what, regardless, I still really enjoyed this campaign. And you know what? We did prove German industrial might, in which we surpassed the United States of America and continue to surpass the United States of America in terms of our GDP growth. Truly a great thing, and the United Kingdom has fallen on really harsh times when their former colony has a higher GDP than them. I feel so bad for the UK. But oh well, I hope you enjoyed this, enjoyed this campaign, guys. If you did, consider 
leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link if you haven't already. If you've done all those things, I say thank you very much to you. But I hope you enjoyed it regardless, and I will see you all in another campaign. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.